day in May. Hey guys, welcome back to Element A Day in May. Um, okay, what else is new this week? Well, we are stealth filming in the Pantages Theater in Hollywood because Hamilton tickets went on sale in Los Angeles. And since I have to film this a few days in advance, I thought, what better time to film this than during this historical occasion? So last year for the Element Lead, I did a little bit of a Hamilton parody song. So I thought, why not do Lead again while I'm waiting in line for Hamilton tickets? Something I didn't talk about, or rather sing about last year, when I was talking about lead was uh, how toxic it was, its toxicity and how deadly it could be. And I'm not just talking about a bullet to the abdomen in 1804 during a duel in Weehawk in New Jersey. Hamilton references. <laughs> Amid many, many concerns uh, in world news this week, uh, I found a couple articles about lead contamination in water. There was one in Australia where they found it in a children's hospital and nurses are demanding free blood tests for everybody who might be concerned with the situation. There was also a couple schools, one, um, I think there were a couple in San Diego and then one elementary school in Pennsylvania. And this is making a lot of people upset and saying that the government has to be better about being safer for our children. I agree. So where is this contamination coming from? So lead is used in water pipes and what happens is the water pipes, they get old, they start to break down and the lead starts leaching into the water. Also, um, lead is used in paint a lot. You hear that a lot, like lead paint chips. You don't want you know, paint to be chipping in kids' rooms and, I mean, frankly, adults too. It's poisonous for all people. Um, so why even use lead in the first place? Well, it turns out lead has a lot of cool properties, like um, it's very opaque, so the opacity of paint, you can kind of put one layer on and it's going to provide really, really good coverage. It's also really water-soluble, so it's really resistant against water and you can clean it uh, a lot better. Um, and then it also has properties like anti-cracking, which is great because you don't want lead paint chips, but then if you didn't use lead in the first place, you wouldn't have the toxicity issue to deal with. So. So all of this makes me think, as I'm standing in line waiting for Hamilton tickets in the Pantages Theater, if Hamilton hadn't died from other complications from being shot with a giant lead bullet, would he have maybe had some complications from lead poisoning? I don't know. What do you think? Thank you guys so much for watching today's stealth video. Stay tuned because tomorrow is May the 4th, and I'm posting Element a Day in May, a video every single day this month of May. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment to show your support, and uh, wish us luck. Bye. I got here like at 10. Element a day in May.